Hi, I'm Nettie. A while ago, I was presented with the idea to make dubstep entirely out of kick drums. And recently, I stumbled upon that idea in my list of video ideas. So I thought I'd finally do it today. So with that being said, let's make some dubstep out of only kicks. Okay, so first off, let's pick a kick that can work in every context imaginable. I like this one. So let's try to make a drum loop first. So that's where we run into our first problem, being that we don't have a snare. So let's turn this kick into a snare. So I'm thinking we just pitch this up. There we go. And then let's duplicate this, and then we'll pitch it down a little bit. And now we can add a vocoder and put it on the noise setting. Yeah, there we go. We can we can just duplicate this over and over again and still get like some smooth white noise. That's pretty much ideal right there. So let's freeze that and flatten it. And now we can make a snare out of this. We can uh, fade this in. Let's EQ this white noise. There we go, we kind of already got a snare. And then let's add one more layer with some more white noise, and we'll use this as the transient. Okay, there we go. Let's add a glue compressor. And there we go, that's pretty much a snare. And we can also probably saturate this group a little bit. There we go, I'm happy with that. And then we can record it to audio. Um, now let's make some hi-hats. Let's remove this post-processing. There we go, that's a hi-hat. Let's saturate this, let's flatten this, and then we'll put that here. And let's also make a, like, a ride simple thing. So we're just gonna do the same thing, just EQ this a little bit. Maybe we can add, like, a corpus to make it, like, metallic. Huh. That actually sounds like a crash. Let's add, maybe, like, an OTT. Wow, that's an actual crash right there, that's cool. Alright, sick. Now we gotta make a sub, somehow. I have no idea how I'm gonna get, like, a good sub from this. I guess I could try to, like, stretch this out. Okay, there's some clean sub right there. Maybe we can, uh, get that to sit, like, consistently with the limiter. Okay, let's flatten that again. And then, let's just stretch it again. Okay, there we go. We got some, got some pretty nice sub there. Alright, dope. Let's freeze that and flatten it. And now we have a nice sub. Let's saturate the sub a little bit. Okay, and now we can start making like a little sub pattern like this. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this. Let's see if we can pitch it up. That's pretty cool. Let's add a corpus to that. Oh, that's pretty cool. And let's add a fat rack. Okay, let's saturate this. Okay, and then let's add another saturator. And maybe we can add an OTT. And let's frequency shift it. Oh, okay, let's record this to audio. Okay, so let's just make like a pattern out of this little thing. Um, maybe you can add like a flanger to this. Maybe you can like pitch this down. Okay, let's frequency shift this around. And now we can add an OTT and turn it up way louder. Maybe instead of doing like a um, kick snare kind of thing, we can do a kick clap. Okay, let's add a little top layer, and then we can use the sub for that. Maybe we could frequency shift this up. And then we can make like a phone base out of it. <laughs> and now we need some kind of like weird gritty layer to it. So let's add a vocoder, and then we can put it to the noise setting. And then let's add a uh, auto pan. We'll put it on the sine wave and make it like really fast. And then EQ out the low end. Let's do a little bit more post-processing on this. Maybe let's add a fat rack. Maybe we can add like a gritty layer underneath this whole thing. So let's duplicate the sub and uh, let's just add an amp. And maybe we can add a uh, phaser and a saturator and an auto filter. And we can put it to bandpass and then like make it go like... There we go. Let's add another amp and an OTT. And then let's cut the low end out. And maybe we could also add a chorus on top. Let's kind of change this up a little bit because I don't think I like the pattern. Let's add a simple delay and then we'll kind of just like, we'll turn up the drive right here. Maybe we can like automate this to change a little bit like. Let's do a little like tape stop thing right here. Okay, and maybe we can do this, like right here. And now let's like frequency shift this around. Okay, let's let's uh, frequency shift this phone base around. Let 
Yeah, let's duplicate this layer. And then we'll like transform it into a growl. Uh, let's auto filter this in. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, dude, that's sick. Oh my god. Dude, Jesus. Let's move these notes around a little bit because it does stay a little bit static. Maybe we can make this thing go like this. There we go, I think that's better. Okay, let's duplicate this. Let's change this phone base around again. Let's duplicate this again. And then let's make like a new growl variant. And then remove the LFO. Um, remove these EQs. And then let's just like record a bunch of these since there's like an LFO on it. And I kind of like some of them. Let's do a little pre-drop thing. And then let's add my little producer tag in. Hi, I'm Nettie. Let's see if we can make like a tom fill out of a uh, kick. I don't know if that's possible, but let's find out. Okay, so I'm thinking we reverb this out. That kind of sounds like a tom. Let's freeze that. Let's like saturate it. And then we'll like automate the saturation to be like all the way up here. And then like off. Let's freeze that. And now I think we have a pretty solid tom fill. And then just do... Okay, let's duplicate this. And then um, let's just make like a uh, little pattern out of this. Just like a little top thing that just constantly goes. And then let's frequency shift that up. Alright, so at this point I'd say it's pretty much done. So let's go ahead and take a listen to this track. Hi, I'm And just like that, we've made a track out of only kick drums. Let me know if you like this video with a comment down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye. Belt.